No, no. No, we just let it run and we run around. So it's, it's, it's recording. I read that it's yeah. recording, hopefully. And I, my friend at home, he's recording it. He's taping it anyway. So, there, uh, so that's cool. But let, let us think where to, to set it up. Hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome in the pinhole universe. We are, <laughs> we are here in South Sweden. I have some friends around me, and we keep in all the distance of 1.5 meters. Oh, Sweden is a bit relaxed about this thing, and this is the first and the last time that I'm talking about Corona today, because... This is the first time Swedes come together. Swedes so come together. <laughs> Since the Viking Age. Since the Viking Age. So we are pretty relaxed. We are on the plain countryside. We eat and drink uh, Ingefera all day long. And we're just setting setting up the computer. Maybe I can just leave it like this because here's all that we need. And here are some, some friends. There's Johanna. There's Björn. There's another Gustav. And there's Dante. <laughs> And Gustav is the other, the older Gustav is just running together. Oh, I'm listening to myself. This makes me nervous. <laughs> I am delayed. Okay. I'm really, I'm coming delayed. So shut up. And I'm find, still finding the right place to set up the computer so that you can watch everything. What about? Ah, wir sind hier abhängig von dem Strom. I'm not so sure. Maybe we can. No. Let's see how how does it look if we put it on the chair. Like so rum. I'm not sure. Oh, this is. I think this is cool. This is really cool. So here's the table where everything is on, and if I want to show you something, I just come closer to the computer. And uh, yeah, that makes sense. So take a seat, take a tea, and welcome again. This is still very hot. Yes, let me know. Cheers and happy Easter. Happy Easter. I have been up since six and hiding eggs. So. Did you? <laughs> Did you find them? You take photos, you're the best. Yeah. Okay. We're waiting for, we're still waiting for the other Gustav and Andrea to come. So it's going to be quite improvised today a little bit, but you have, you will learn a lot about pinhole photography and how to tinker, to drill your own box made from Oh, we will see later. And then from the very scratch, from the very beginning, you have a can and in the end, you have a picture. How does it work? You will see. Welcome again. There comes Gustav with his drill machine. And some toilet paper. We don't know why he's carrying toilet paper with him. No, it's the oh, no, it's not the toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> toilet paper. It's, not, You're obsessed. it's a can. I'm not obsessed anymore. So you see, Gustav, we set it up here so that we can see everything. And as soon as something is happening, maybe I'm running around and come closer. Let's do it like this. What about Andrea? Is she coming? She's coming. Okay, cool. You're the driller man. So this is the table where it's all happening. Is so. this my... I'll tell you later what yeah. I did. <laughs> I really <laughs> had some problems about the... <laughs> Super excellent, but that's another that's story. That's not how you do it. That's not how, yeah, that's how, when the film slips inside, you really have to be brutal and crack the cassette, and that's what I did, but it did, but I will tell you later. So, my dear, take your seats, and I bring everything I have on this table where it's going to happen. Do you know what this is? No, Papa? No, it's an old film. It's an old film. It's an old film, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's really good from your father. I know now who you are. Yes, um, it's funny. Yay. <laughs> oh, wow. So, okay, we're starting the party. So we thought about, um, it's not a regular workshop or instruction thing. It's more like a gathering of, of people in social distance. And it was fun and with doing everything together and a little bit improvised. So maybe, sorry that the, the discussion will be in English so that everybody understands. Good morning, my American friends. Good afternoon, my European friends. And 
Welcome, wo auch immer ihr jetzt gerade seid und herkommt, ist mal willkommen mit uns. Und ähm, damit ich nicht heißer werde, trinke ich jetzt mal ein bisschen Tee, Ingwer-Tee. Oh. Was? Ah, du hast auch noch gebracht. Okay, cool. Yay! Okay, so. Kamera Obscura, is, uh, Pinhole Camera is basically a Camera Obscura, which means a dark room. So this is the basic. The idea is very, 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 very old. And um, I show you my favorite Pinhole Camera, which I have here. I think I sit down here. Yes, that makes sense. Hello. So my favorite Pinhole Camera is made from a Illy coffee can which are painted black from the inside. It makes sense that the light photons don't bounce around, but it's not totally necessary. And then there's the hole here. So funny, where's the, ca the camera's up there? The hole is here. As you see, it's a very, very, very super tiny hole. And uh, what we are going to do today, we're going to drill a big, brutally a big hole and then cover it up with a tiny hole because the tinier the hole the sharper the image you can say and this is it and we need um, a deckel and the deckel is here deckel means this is the lid it has to be light tight and this is so cool about the illy coffee cans they are totally light tight so no light gets in only through the hole but if you don't want to want light to come in you need to cover it so that's why that's how I tinker this cover thing. And this is it. And so it works. And for let me sit down here. And um, this is so totally analog. Um, because for those people who have no idea about analog photography and about everything, I start again with it. Light comes in waves and it comes in photons and goes through this little hole. And on the other side, from the inside, there will be placed a piece of photographic sensitive paper or negative. And when the light falls in through the hole, it gets, it jumps, <laughs> jumps onto the photographic paper or negative and makes a picture. That's it. So imagine there's a big white cow standing there emitting photons, light falls through the hole jump onto the piece of paper or negative in darkness of course that's why it has to be covered and then you just have to develop the piece of paper and then you have a photo that's it super simple normal analog photographic cameras they have a they have this is called aperture by the way they have the the aperture indicates the size of the hole the diameter of the hole and normal photographic analog cameras they can change the size of the hole. They go from very, very tiny to quite big, and it's called, also called the iris blender, the iris aperture, they are changeable. But with these uh, pinhole cameras, you just have one hole and it's at one certain size, and that's it. And then later we come to this very complicated mathematic calculations. How the hell do you know how long you have to expose the paper inside? We are just starting from scratch. So now enters the stage Gustav, who is not here anymore, who is not with us anymore. Because we have several cans. I mean, the question would be, which cans are possible to be transformed into um, a pinhole camera? Basically, all cans are all schachteln, cases, whatever, which are light tight. Uh, so my friends brought me some, I don't know, cookie cans or something, and the lid seems to close this thing very well so we can use these and there's also this little 35 millimeter camera which Johanna brought today this one which is really old there was a 35 my pony is a bit komisch my hairdo is a little bit out of I don't know out of style but we don't care so this one looks very cool the lid seems to close it tightly and then I have Tinkered one. This is my favorite little camera made from a curcuma powder can, which has also a very, very nice lid here. And this is the most important thing that they close absolutely tightly. So when Gustav arrives, he's going to uh, deal with this super brim machine, and we're just making 
Which one are we using? I don't know. Probably, let's see what, what kind of photo material we have here. So I have, um, you can buy these. This is, for example, Fumapan. It is called Sheet Film. Oder auch auf Deutsch heißt das, ähm, warte mal, wie heißt das? Ein Planfilm, genau, es heißt Planfilm. Kann man im guten Photoshop Shop kaufen oder online bestellen. Und es ist genau diese Größe hier. Und deswegen empfiehlt sich das, äh, was total praktisch ist. What is very practical to, to use a can which, which has the size of the source. I have these from Foma and I have also, there's one factory in Germany, close to Berlin. They are called Ardox and they sell these little ones, 6.5 by 9 millimeter. Ne, centimeter, centimeter. And they fit, for example, exactly in this can of mine, P9. And um, I'm not opening it right now because as you see, light falls on it, it will be ruined. But this is, for example, this is it. This is a small one from Ardox, 6.5 by 9 centimeters, this size, and this one was, this is a disaster, as you see, the disaster developing, so I can use it for showing it. It's absolutely cool inside, it goes very, very cool inside this can. You see, it schmiegt sich an die Rückwand. It's going really smoothly on the back wall, opposite of the hole, because remember, light falls through the hole and jumps onto the piece of film. And you don't even have to to uh, stick it somehow inside because it's holding by itself. So it's very, very practical if you have a, um, a can that is just the size of this material. You can as well use photographic paper and cut it beforehand. Yeah, that it, that it fits with the size exactly inside. But where is Gustav? We're waiting for Gustav and the drill machine. No? The drill machine is there. We can start. I don't. Do you want to do it? I can do it. Yeah, do it. Okay. We feel free. And let's think about which and one which we're taking. Size do we which need size do we need? I mean, if we take... No, here is Gustav. You know what? Where did I put the negative? Ah, here's the jump. And yeah, the coolest. So where's the negative again? Where did I put it? Me nerve. I'm a nervous wreck. Oh, I put it here. You should have a really small size. Let's check it. If we take this, I have several of these. Oh, they can separate. If we can you see it? Yeah, I can see. Let's yeah, see my my chicken hinton. Oh, yeah, yeah, you see. That would be interesting if we took this one and try. Ah, okay, it doesn't really hold, so we would have to. But the size, I mean, the, the height, the length, it's not bad. Take a look like this. Yeah. So we would have to um, to to tape it from on both sides okay. so that it holds. Because yeah, yeah. Like, but what else do we have? So this one is too small. We would have to cut the uh, film. Yeah. But it's too complicated. We would have to do it in darkness. Uh -huh. And it's easier for, for this time to show it to people. To, <laughs> Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yeah, so you know what? I would say we take this and then we we put some, some tape on the two sides of it to, to fix it inside the thing because it's not easy. It's, remember, it has to be in complete darkness. And... Uh, you are in complete darkness. We are in complete darkness. Mm -hmm. Is there any other chance? What about the big ways? Ah, that. yeah. Oh, this is cool. She brought a plastic. Andrea, this is Andrea, oh, it's Andrea, Andrea is Windows, not in the computer. But in the computer. You okay. see, um, <laughs> this is <laughs> this is here the Andrea dose. This could be cool, but if you look through it, it is light comes in. It's absolutely not light. It it's a good idea. box. It was your idea, but yes. um, I mean, you could, could we could tape it and we could paint it black from the inside. But you know, we have better cans here. We can do it later. Mm -hmm. We can do for demonstrating. Let's take. I would say let's take this Johanna dose. What was inside? It was tea. Yeah, tea. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it makes sense. Check this out again. So and then you can develop in tea. We can develop in tea, but we can also develop in coffee. I'm going to show you later how that works. Let's do it. Let's do it. See, and then you can let me see. Um, and then the next question would be where to drill the hole. It should be in the middle of the box mm -hmm. that it reaches the middle of the piece of film. Wow, that was So you know what? 
So if we put it down, we should indicate it with a... <laughs> yeah. So I would say, so I'm, I'm just doing it and talking while I'm putting it on to mark where is the middle of the piece of film. And then, you see, I want to find out the, mid, the middle point, the middle of it where to be the hole. So let's say it is there. So I mark it with a cross. I, huh? Is that a board hole? Not yet. No. Not yet, but I will show you later about the, the secret of buying holes on the internet. So this yeah, a great would be the point the where you drill it. Yes? Yeah, are you ready? It's, uh, the <laughs> same holes of the Which size on the, the, on the drill? A big one. Oh yeah, that's, I want, want to explain. You, we, we're so now so drilling so a so very so big so hole, so and then so later so we're covering so up, so it up with a small hole. Because uh, so, so big is super. Yeah, the bigger the better. Yeah. You're on the computer now, so this is Johanna drilling a hole. And um, thank you. Bleibt alle schön gesund. Ne? Take care. Social distance. Social distance. Social distance. But anyway, love each other and hug each other next year. Mm. Wait, are you in? Yeah, you're in. Mm -hmm. Cool. Be careful that you don't wait. Can you see it? Yeah. So take good action, action, drill. Yeah. So have a look at this. Now we have a very tough and rough hole and oh, there's a bit of burnt plastic on it. I'll get rid of it. And then if we use this very big hole with a diameter of almost a centimeter, it would be really, really too big because actually there's a perfect hole for every can in this world. Yes. Remember this, there's an optimal, a perfect hole for every can in this world. And now we're coming deep into a theory which I would really like to avoid because people have been researching a lot what is the perfect hole for the perfect can, etc. But you can say for this size of hole it has to be smaller than one, the diameter has to be smaller than one millimeter. It's just um, a fine. Why? That's a good, good question. If it would be very, very big, light would rush in immediately and it would be blurred. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can say, basically you can say, the smaller the hole is, the more, the sharper the image would be. But there's a certain limit. There's a certain limit. If the hole is too tiny, like 0 0.005 millimeters, for example, it would take the, um, the light would take too long to rush through and make an image. So this is very unprecise what I'm telling you now. Uh, if you want to, to go deeper, please, <laughs> what? please, please browse the internet because there, there are many, many web pages from, made by, by super nerds and they explain it very deeply. Why the hell the light bounces and gets diffracted? Because it's, it's a matter of diffraction. If the light, uh, if the hole is too small, it's getting the light is getting diffracted. Just keep it in mind. Okay. So I mean, this is not a good explanation, but it's true. I don't really understand why it's getting diffracted, yeah. but it is like it is. Like it is. And diffracted is like upkilling. It bounces, okay. so it's getting. Ugh, it doesn't go straight through uh -huh, it anymore. Okay. This is this is funny. So, but if, I mean, if, I can imagine if the hole is very big, it's really it's, it's not. You don't have a precise and in focus picture because it, it's like it comes the same in the, the camera. The, this is the same with the yeah. camera. You have the, the tiefen share yeah. the depth. The, yeah. What's it called? The field of depth. Yeah, right. this is it. So, so for for everybody who 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 is able to or who learned um, analog photography, you know, the smaller the hole is, the the wider. Yeah the field of it depth is. is. Yeah. But there's a certain there's a certain limit and I don't really know where it is, but it is. So 
was not so precise. So then you put black uh, tape. Like yeah, paper. we can. Uh, do we have sandpaper? Oh. If not, it's not not so. Doesn't really matter. Oh, I shouldn't forget to I to show it. Get, so no, you, see, you know what? It's not it's not really necessary because um, I mean it makes sense not to to hurt your fingers to polish the hole a little bit, but we're skipping it. So this hole would really be too big for this tiny can. Now there's two ways to make the the absolute super good pinhole hole. Either you have a piece of Aluminium foil, plus, yeah. plus a needle, which I, I can't really open. <laughs> okay, it has a tape here. You can just need um, use any sharp needle. And uh, there's another rule: the sharper, the, the more perfect the round of the hole is, the sharper its picture will be. So if you took Mm. If you took a piece of aluminium for it, let me show you. So, so we are just we're dealing here with very easy and cheap ways to make a camera. So you just we just need a piece of aluminium for it and a needle. And uh, you see what I'm doing here? Take it and make one. Now I have a hole. And it looks for me, from my side, I'm very, very used to holes. It looks like 0 0.4 millimeters. And it looks pretty round when I look through it. So um, this, is, this is another basic, makes, basic thing that you should um, take care of. So if the hole is not perfectly round, and if it is, um, how do you say, ausgefranst, ausgefranst like, like not, not exact in the round, Again, the light would be diffracted. It would be would um, would be diffracted. Abgelenkt. Das Licht würde würde an den Rändern abgelenkt werden und uh, hin und her springen und du würdest kein du würdest eine Vignette kriegen oder kein exaktes Bild. So the light, the photons would be really distracted if the if the round would, uh, would, wouldn't be a perfect round. So there's another chance to do it. This is, but this, I mean, this is really for 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 basic pinhole making. It's really a very cool thing because aluminium foil, everybody has that, and needles, easy. But we have the internet. We have the cool internet, and there are nerds everywhere who have a, a laser machine, and they sell holes. Can you see it? They sell. Holes. They sell. They sell holes. There's. Whole salesmen That's and it. women <laughs> wear the camera. I hear no. This is so <laughs> cool because this hole is so <laughs> tiny. The diameter of this hole is 0 0.1 millimeter. You can see it. It's not the the light brown thing and the and the black thing. It's inside the light brown metal piece. So this is a piece of very thin metal. And inside, there's another piece of even thinner metal. And there inside is a really super tiny hole. And you can buy this on, on eBay. I did that. And uh, the advantage of this is that you know exactly the size of the hole. And you know you can rely on the hole because it's really it's laser drilled. And it's really not diffracting, distracting your light that comes in. So we're going to use this. And then another advantage that we come later to is the calculation of the perfect time to um, expose your film, to expose your camera. You have to know, the better, the more you know, the better, because you really have to know the distance between hole and backside of the camera and the diameter of the hole. So what we're doing here now, we are covering this big hole with a small hole. Oh, can you see it? Yeah, the big hole, we cover it with a small hole. So we have the perfect small hole in the can. Everything klar? If whenever comes a question of yes. this, as yeah. we on the, mm -hmm. you can't yet here zwar leider nicht mit uns diskutieren, but you can leave some comments. And uh, if you have if you have like question marks around your head now, um, please comment. And I think that Facebook is recording this film, hopefully because they are recording everything. And then later we can watch it again and we can answer questions, whatever. So. And this makes sense to, if you have sandpaper, to, to smoothen it a little bit, but we don't have it now, so we don't care. 
And do we have tape for taping it from the inside? We have Oh, you know, if not, I have this here. Oh. So black tape would be useful, but we also have uh, any tape would be okay, but it has to be, oh, I don't want to hurt my fingers. I no, I just want to get rid of this one little thingy here. This is but too transparent. It's not transparent, but it would hurt your fingers. And uh, I don't want to eat it. No, but, uh, no, 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 no. Ah, I have scissors here. And it uh, makes sense if you have a whole lot of tools around. But I can get more tools. Schnapp and should be okay. As long as the, the outer hole is far bigger than the super hole that we're going to take from, from the inside most. Pro oh, can you see me? <clears throat> so I'm taping the laser hole now from the inside against this hole. Yeah? I think you can see it. Yeah, good. So. So I know that this hole, the diameter of this hole is 0 0.1. And then I explain you later why it makes sense to know it, but now I have to concentrate to oh la la. So here it is. Now it is more or less fixed. Oh, no. Yeah, it should be okay. It should be light tight around. Oops. So give me some more seconds. And meanwhile, I could explain. It. No, meanwhile, I could just drink my champagne and wish you again. Dear people in the world everywhere, take good care and love each other. <sighs> love one another. Uh, so I continue. Because of course today we would really like to use this can and take a picture with it. So that you see how easy it is. I mean, it would be perfect to paint the can inside, paint it black, the inside, because now it is uh, silver and it means it could happen that the light that comes in bounces a little bit around and it's, it's being reflected on this in the inside the, the can but we we don't we don't care at the moment because we can't paint it and we don't have the time to wait until the black paint is dried so it's question from uh, the audience here in sweden yeah hello hello uh, we are thinking <laughs> is it theoretically possible to imagine a total pre-industrial camera that uses Something Johanna talked before that they experience that asphalt, what you call it, which you have on asphalt, street. Asphalt, have on street, yeah. Uh, gets uh, lighter of sunlight. That they knew that already in the end of the eighties. I think century. it was the the Niepce, yeah. the, the yeah. guy, the mm. what was his first name again? Niepce. No. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, he. He researched on asphalt and he, mm -hmm. he made some photos with the use of asphalt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that he was the one. Neo, uh, ne Neo, Nice, 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 the guy from France. He, 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 he didn't know that about asphalt. I don't really know what exactly he did, but he did some research on it because it's, um, it's light intense. Is it light intense? Or photo, yeah, or photo the, something? Yeah, yeah. Licht empfindlich. Licht empfindlich, yeah. Light sensitive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, what we're doing here, the all the basics of all this, of its analog photography, it's 200 years old. It's a very, more than 200 mm. years. It, it was like 1800, about, when was he, the near, in the, in the beginning of the 18th. So it's about 200 years old. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's why I'm trying to make it. Yeah, now it's there, but. Uh,
Well, it's also a discussion round and um, checking it, you see, it looks not, not, not quite cool because they have to make sure that there's no light falling through the, the margin here, through the, through the edges. But I think, um, uh, I give it another piece of tape. <laughs> There's still some, some dust inside. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think. It comes. I hope so. I hope it will work. So please, if you, if you wanna, if you make your, um, you know what, Gustav, it would be better if we, because it's some yeah, sandpaper, or then the file, something. File. File, yeah. File. Yeah. I am the file. Learning Swedish, by the way. No, no, we no. I mean, have a metal file, right? Yeah. Metal, oh, cool. Yeah. That's even better. Metal. Yeah, let's be more precise, because I you see... A tractor. A tractor. <laughs> you see the inside here, there's some some thingy some metal pieces it's it's not it's not flat it, it needs to be flat so that the the other hole is really really flat on it so we have to wait until he comes back back with the metal file makes more sense and then we're actually doing it so questions from the audience what mm -hmm. um, what sort of photography are you doing you just take something outside here you don't have we make a, let's make a group. Yeah, yeah we we'll make a group. group. Of course, yeah. we have to make a group. Yes. Yeah. And, and you it, don't have a shared with class, what do you call that? A what? Uh, uh, what do you call it when you can't put in that? The, the <laughs> camera, a timer. Time, uh, a timer so we have we all have cell phones and we have but first we have to find out the mm. the right exposure time yes. and that's the next mm. I wouldn't say big problem but that's the next crucial thing that we want to know and um should I explain you now while we're waiting for Gustav? Yeah, maybe. Because um, what we're going to do when the hole is inside. I have this Dunkelsack. Would you please show the audience the <laughs> den, den Dunkelsack? I think it's this black thingy on the table. Wechselsack. Is it down there? Yeah. This is very practical for, practical for photographers that have no light rooms. This is the Wechselsack. It has to ermel to arms to sleeves where you can put your arms in and you can just change everything like yeah, it's really like a miracle tritra trolala tritra trolala theater this is it so we're doing it here with this wonderful device then and what we're doing we we're putting a piece of of film inside so so exciting yeah how to know the right exposure time this is the most crucial question in pinhole photography science i would say and, um, first let me explain what an aperture is for all those who know who are familiar with photographic with analog photographic cameras they have uh, in german it is blende and a blenden it's a, a row of numbers indicating the blender the upper aperture actually it's a row that starts normally at 1.8 and the next number is 2.8 and comes mm -hmm. for 5.6 8 11 16 22 32 and that's almost it and the numbers indicate the aperture the Blendengröße. The smaller the hole, the aperture is, the higher the number. So in a photographic camera, Blende Nummer 22, yeah, number 22 is the smallest. I'm so confused about Ah, yeah, here's the camera. The smallest opening because a photographic camera has, of course, an iris blend, an iris aperture, which you can open or close depending on the amount of light that you have in your surroundings. So the lighter, the brighter the sun is outside, the smaller the hole must be. Because if it was like very, very open and the light is very, very sunshiny, your film would be totally overexposed. That's just the basic of analog photography. So for everybody who knows, who is familiar with that, you know about apertures. Aperture photographic camera has a variable, so you can close it or open it according to the light. This 
camera. This camera, of course, has just one hole and you can't make it big or small, it just has one hole. And you can calculate the number, the so sozusagen the personal aperture number of your personal can is calculatable. It's just an easy Dreisatz, it's just two things divided by the other. The distance, oops, the distance between hole and the back side where you lay your piece of film or paper on. The, yeah, the, the distance. In this case, I would say it's about 80 millimeters. It's all in millimeters. Divided by the diameter of the hole. Then you get a number. If we have a, I mean, we, we, can, can, we can guess it. Maybe someone has a lineal or something like this. But um, now we I can, think that in the tens what would you say, 10 is, centimeters? Yeah, it is 10. It is 10. I know that my Illy camera is uh, wait, my Illy camera is about eight, 80 it's millimeter. Small. It's a little bit smaller. You're right. I would say it's about the the distance is ten centimeters, so it is one hundred millimeter. So we must divide one hundred millimeter by zero point one. Remember, it's the tiny hole that we're going to put here. The diameter of it is zero point one. So, can you do it? It must have been like a yeah. thousand or something. Yeah, 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 can you say, yeah. Isn't it so hard? It's 100. It's probably 100. Mm -hmm. So, it is 100 mm -hmm. divided by 0 0.1. Mm -hmm. Did you say? Yeah, we have, we have, uh, we have two of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 through 0.1. No, 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 100. 100 is yeah. 100. It's 1,000. It's 1,000. Because if we divide it um, 100 by 1, it would be 100. Mm -hmm. But we're dividing 100 with uh, 0 0.1. It's is it 0 0.1 millimeter on the Yes. Okay. So this is so small. This is so mm -hmm. small, yeah. So yeah. we would have an aperture number of 1,000. This is really a lot, but let's try it because mm -hmm. I know that is the second, the time. No, that's not yet the time. That comes later. No, but we know. Some from the what? Oh phone. yeah, I can hear and see you. Hello, Karl Heinz. Hello, Gunnel Pettersson. <laughs> Hello, Natalia Ali. Can you share with us the links to buy the ready? Oh yes, I can. I can do that later. Here's some more four comments. Oh, I got this to comment last week. I love you. <laughs> Kiki Neslun just joined. This is fantastic. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you will get the, all the information or everything on the, my links that I know about the internet and everything mm -hmm. later. Uh, what, okay, so we're finding out the number. We have found out now the aperture number of this hole, which will receive a 0 0.1 diameter hole and the, the distance is 10 centimeters. So it means... <laughs> You're really distracting me. Hello again. Santé. Santé, everybody. Santé. 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 We're coming back to the perfect time of exposing later. Fraternité. Sororité. Egalité. Liberté. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Health and sorority. Schwesterschaft. So realisieren. Okay, so coming coming back to the exposure time later. Are we doing it live here? And uh, wow, scheiße! Do you want to do it? Yes. Just because I'm so nervous and distracted. The most important <laughs> the most important thing is, and you see from the inside, that it has to be. Flat on the inside. This might just show. That's why I'm going to put it now. You see, you can see Gustav, yeah. It's the. The resolution is not super. The main thing is that this is flat. Flat from the inside so that we can stick this from the inside to the hole and that it's quite, quite even, I would say. Oh, 
Oh, I kind of like you. I had thoughts that you were going to have a What? This, uh, shot, this program is into uh, uh, Lost in the Pantry. Stefan Westerberg. You look at you, Mr. Sanders. You like them. Our generation. I thought they were scary. You know what? This is my, my second favorite. Mm -hmm. um, so the can the uh, the distance is about Most five centimeters, and the hole I don't remember, but I know that the aperture number is two hundred and fifty. I know that, which is already a very high number. Remember, analog photo cameras they go until twenty two or thirty two, and not much more. So that means that our holes are very very tiny and logically need a very long time to be exposed. My really favorite camera. The distance is about eight centimeters, I know that, and I think the hole was about 0 0.3 or something. And I remember that it's also 250, the aperture of this can is also 250. So I know by now, this hole, as you see, has traveled a lot with me for many, many years. It's this eingebeult wie nur sowas, so it's really damaged. But I love it a lot because it has traveled with me all over the world and taken a lot of pictures. You can find on www.pinholedoggy.wordpress.com, uh, I think. But well, that's one of the links that I'm going to, to type in later when we finish all this thing. So, Gustav, how, how are you getting along? Yes, it's just a couple of more hours. <laughs> I don't know if you will approve this. Oh well, let's see. I hope so. This is, by the way, this is called Bruno, where I'm at. I'm the artist in residency, and this is actually where I live. This is my studio, my atelier, and I'm very happy. And this is Gustav coming with, let me see, from the inside. It's not the camera. No, well, there's a little, it should, yeah. could be if it was flatter. Ouch. Yeah. Maybe it's easier to yeah. but, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it can be rougher, yeah. And then it would sit rough on the inside. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> Second try. So you buy those coats? Yes, I do that because it's, I mean, the easy way is using aluminium foil and yeah. pinning, but you don't know the, the diameter of yeah. the hole. You can just guess. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's, um, it's all about guessing. It is not a precise science that we're doing here. Yeah. There are people that, that are running their brains crazy about this because um, there are some people that just can't stand it being unprecise but it's it's part of the fun I would say and it's like a, but do, do you need to shape to you know do you need to shape them because they're getting damaged not at all I've, I've had that hole in this can for 10 years yeah. yeah, it's thin it's a thin piece of metal but I mean, normally it's covered with this, um, with well, this it's cover. This small yeah, it's a small hole, a very thin, thin piece of metal. And uh, oh, there's also a very interesting thing. The piece of metal that we have here is very, very, very thin. If it were wider, I mean, you could, you could theoretically, you could drill a very, very tiny hole directly in the wall of your can, but. The can is not, I mean, the wall of the can is not so thin. It is like yeah, about one millimeter, paper. but it would be, uh, they are calling it a tunnel. It would be more like a, the hole would be more like a, tan a tunnel. Mm -hmm. And uh, the light would also be distracted if it fell in. So the, the wider, the, thi the thicker, the thicker, <laughs> the thicker, the thicker, the thicker. <laughs> These the Swedish guys driving me mad. So the thicker the wall is, the more the light photons would be distracted. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Yes. Wow, this is smooth like a like a children's poo poo. So, but <laughs> I'm doing it again now. Oh, this is this is way better now. So let me see. The hole is not, yes. You see what I did? The laser hole is now here. It's now really, really stuck in the camera. Put it inside, fix it with the tape. You see it here? Yeah, you can see it. Fix it with the tape. 
So this means when I put the lid on it, here, this is this lid. Oh, so if we put now the lid on it, ah, because it's really, ah, really super tight, I would say, let's hope that it's safe. But of course, we need a cover. We need to cover the hole right now, because from now on, light shines through. So the easy way is, what I did is, um, the black cover, the black cover, oh yeah, it's, did you see the cover of the Probably not. Because I'm trying to use. The, the cover that was on the ID camera. Yeah, it was a piece of black tape, like this. The hole. Not the hole. Oh, we can use this. We can use it. Oh, this is good. Because I wanted to explain our audience um, how to tinker a cover for the hole. I used a little, what was this in here? This is, ooh, I'm so confused. This is just a piece of tape, like three folded. And then it makes sense that it is a little bit thicker. We can put it. This is our can. We can put it to cover the hole. You see, now it is covered, and no light comes in. Really, no light comes in. And then, when you're ready, whenever you're ready, and know how long, know how long you want to expose your photo, you can just have it there, sitting on a tripod or whatever. And then open it like this. Open, and then Inside, it's huh? going to be exposed. And then you cover it again. So this is the way of opening and closing your hole for the time of exposure. But how do you do inside? Do you have a negative inside? Do you have we are doing it. We're doing it with a negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With this. But you always use negatives. I prefer using negatives because I can make positives ah, from them. Course. So yeah, it's like a, if you had a piece of paper, it would be a unicard, it would be unique. Yes, it would have a paper. Yeah. Develop it, you would have a negative piece of paper. Yeah. You can, of course, scan it then later. I mean, scanning, ah, then everything. It's, it's, it's rushes in the, in the other world. So you have to take a contact copy then. Yes, yes. But I, I love negatives. And let me show you how they look. I have some negatives here. My favorite pinhole negative at the moment. Oh, this is, big negative. This is so cool. This is here. I don't know if you can see it. This is a negative that I took at the ocean here, the Baltic Sea. I can do. Can you see that? You have to turn. I think you need to turn the the computer towards the window. Yeah, I can do. But can you see that? This is the Baltic Sea. Yeah. You're right. Let me show you what I'm doing here in my artist of the residency mm -hmm. super thing. I'm, oh God, can you do it? <laughs> everything falls down, I'm so afraid. And then, you know what, then, then we're putting a piece of, um, of film inside. Yeah. So I expand, you hold it, you see that? Yeah, this is what I'm doing here. Every day I make a pinhole photo, you see? It's written day, blah, blah, blah on it, and here, see it it looks quite dark yeah maybe so i use two different sizes this is a small size negative and the big size of my illy camera negative and um, i'm doing it every day and this is what we're doing right now here this is what a ne how a negative looks like maybe you can see that yes yes oh cool you see <laughs> I can see that these are my entwickler flaschen. This is my fixed bottle and my developer bottle. And this is not the best photo. Let me let me show them my selfie. This is Dougie's selfie lying on the ground. This is me lying on the grass outside. And there's a glass of red wine, and this is grass, and this is me. And the exposure time was, I think, about only seven seconds because the um the empfindlichkeit, uh, the sensitivity of this piece of negative is 100 ASA, ISO ASA. 
this is the number or the speed number of this mm -hmm. negative which is quite important to know when we come to the calculation later yeah okay so this is what i'm doing here every day trying to find the purpose oh here here it is here it is the illy cover see i had a little piece what am i i had a this black thingy is a little piece of, in Germany it's called Moosgummi. So it's a, it's a piece of soft material, which is quite, if you put it closely <clears throat> to, the, to the can, it covers the, 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 the hole really tightly. And this is just tape. So, are you ready? <laughs> so what we can do now, the... Let me, let me, we're doing it now. We're really doing a taking a photo now. I'm covering this new tinkered box with this with this cover. So the hole is covered now. So what we're doing now? We're putting a piece of this 100 Asa ISO negative film inside the can. And then we're going outside and taking a photo. And meanwhile, before that, I will I must explain to you how we found out the perfect exposure time. And since we don't have a dark room here, this is what Bjorn just showed you. This is the wechsel duck, the changing bag. I'm going to put this here now inside. Let me see, this one is empty. I have it's changing bag. <laughs> changing bag. You can't actually go in the bag. Uh, there it is. Mm. But we can build this house as a thing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, let's talk about this. This is good. I mean, there, there's a lot of people on this planet who. <laughs> who use vans or houses as a pinhole camera. But I have now to concentrate on my wechsel sack here. So it works like this. This wechsel sack, this changing bag, has an opening here with two zippers. And if you put whatever you put inside and put the two zippers um, close, it's really, really, really dark. And, and protect it against light. So I can then go with my fingers, with my arms inside and put the take out of this. No, There's no, the... Some, somebody no. said something there. Echt? Can you share now? It's da a green, oben? Bo Deal Herström joined. But it, she doesn't, didn't say anything. Uh -huh. And Henrik. Yeah. Bo Deal and Henrik, they are a couple probably. Oh, that is yes. you know that? Hello. Well, oh, this is funny, by the way, because my friends know me with my makeup, so I'm not wearing this uh, eyeliner for, for a couple of days because I'm really on the countryside here and I can't go to the sh shops in Sweden are still open. But there is actually not a shop in Simrishamn that sell eyeliner. So I'm really, I'm really back to nature now. And uh, you know what? It feels good so enough talking i put now the negatives y -start. Y -start. i really hope it's, it's tight it's really an adventure why 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 but does it mean something? I mean, E is just E. E, y, 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 was when they made photography like this, they traveled from each stuff to them. Ah, wow. Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was bored. Good to know. Yeah, I think it was in the Yeah, I saw it in your film. Can you see that? 
not doing it. Oh yeah, you see, you can see what I'm doing here, like this. So I'm putting my arms. There are two of these sleeves that I. It's just like in a in a hospital where they checking out viruses. Oh no, we didn't want to want to talk about this. So my arms are now inside the bag as well as the can and the protected negative. So I'm opening the negative case and with my eyes closed to concentrate. Oh, you know what we need before I open it. We need to um, oh God, to tape the piece of film inside the can because yeah. it's, it was so rutschig and I have this here so I, to take this inside too. Now it's hard to follow because now everything happens in the back. It happens in darkness. It happens in, in inside. Yeah. It's you happening. Can't put the computer in there. No, you can't. And you just have to imagine and you have to trust me. And you, everything is happening in the black hole now. So we're changing to the next universe, the black hole universe. <sighs> okay, I feel you. Can I feel you? Can I open? You? So this is open now. Now I open the package with the negatives in and uh, by the way it's quite expensive expensive you buy this package of like 25 I think 25 negatives this size costs about I don't know 20 something euros so it's like one one euro 10 corona for for one negative it is not so much actually but it is um well, many things can go wrong. So if you if you tinker your own, can I can advise you to just the Urknall. Guck mal da, kommt der Urknall. Bam. So I'm I feel you, little piece of film. I feel you, and uh, yeah, I have it in my fingers now. So then the can is open. I can feel this is really, really cool because you have to, you have to squeeze somehow the piece of film opposite to the hole. You shouldn't cover the hole. That would be stupid. You have, so you have to feel inside. Ah, uh, yeah, there's the hole and try to find the opposite wall. And then I found it here. So it's not really precise, but it is, uh, yeah, here it is. So, and it's bent. You see, since we're dealing with, with round cans, the piece of film is concave now at the opposite wall. I'm trying to fix it with this tape that I have here somewhere. Oh. I'm really sweating here it is, but it's fun. I mean, just please do it at home. Try it at home. It is really fun, but be prepared. There might be um, some accidents happening. And don't cry. But you can do it in a dark room. room. You can do it in a dark room. You can also do it under in, in your bed, under, the, under your sheets or blankets, or wait until night comes. And uh, if, you're, if you have a dark room, you're lucky. But I just wanted to show you that it is all possible in also the in, in the wardrobe, yeah, on the you toilet. Can sue one like that. Hmm? You can sue one. You like can sue that. one, yeah. So now I try to fix. But then it's an even longer. You have to try it out. Try it out. And while I'm talking here, I'm trying to put a piece of tape on the and negative it's, and then and it's us that are in the dark and then it's really not for panic people because really oh my god the opposite of the hole is right here so the film should stay here i have put one piece of tape now on one edge which is quite opposite now i have to i find another piece of tape La 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 la, where's the end of the tape thing? There's one finger, is that finger, and that was just lovely. Yeah. Yeah, that's this one. Finger. That that yeah. It's always about these, these shitty pieces of tape that I don't find the end. Oh no, the end. 
the end of the tape on this round thing. What is it? You have to be. You have to have sensitive fingers. Hello. The only noise is the fridge. I hope you're patient, my dear listeners. Is it lost in the no, no, I, I can't find the, find the beginning of the tape. Take <laughs> out the tape No, no. I, I just want to have sense, sensitive fingers. Ah, have it. Found it. Okay, I found it. I rip it off. Ah. And. Okay, tape it on the other edge of the film and hope to. Okay, there we go. Oh, God. I already have sweaty fingers, but. Um, here it is. It is still. The film is still inside. Exactly. Yeah, I really have to rehearse it several times if you have never made. Okay, now it's fixed, I feel. Okay. The negative is now opposite the hole, fixed with two pieces of tape, and I'm covering it. Here's the lid. I put it on the uh, on the tea can. I really hope it's light. I mean, we it's just we just didn't text, uh, test it, and ah, oh, I'm getting my sweaty arms out of this super bag. Here we go. I can open it, and then the camera is prepared to take a picture. See, see. I think it's still on. The hole is still covered. The lid is on, and a piece of negative is opposite to the hole on the inside it's of this success. wall. It's a success so far. But now we have to know if we go. We just we go outside because I have a garden here. We go outside and take a group photo, and you then we me? have to know. You follow me? We, we have to know the seconds. We have to know the seconds. We have to know the the exposure time, and then let me just tell you something about. How it's, it, how it, it's the first time, it's the very first time that we're doing it with this. It's a, like a um, but, we need but we need the seconds, we need the perfect exposure time. And this goes with like um, if you if you were an old fashioned analog photographer, you would know about a light meter. They had devices, these little light measuring light meters, and they could meter yeah. measure the intensity of the light, knowing. The aperture of your camera. Uh, we don't really have it, but we have something better because we are combining the analog and the digital world. We take the best of two worlds, and I will show you one of my favorite devices. It's an app. It's an app which is uh, calculated, which is made especially for pinhole cameras because they they have a very, very wide range of very, very long apertures because now our 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 can has the aperture one thousand, which is really gigantic. So uh, let me just da, 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 them. The app is called Pinhole Assist. I don't get paid by them, by the way. So this is where is it? Here. Pinhole Assist, which is really it makes it really easy. You um, you press here on this thing, and you know there are different different aperture numbers, and you just choose the number that comes close to yours. So ours is about nine hundred and twelve or thousand twenty four. Let's say it's thousand twenty four. So I put it on. Actually, it's the last number. Actually, so this. There are many. Okay, this is not the only app. This is just one app that I found by coincidence. It doesn't cost so much. It's really helpful. I'm using it almost for, for, for all my photography. It's really, really reliable. So I press 1000 and then I have to press here for the uh, 
sensitivity. If we have 100, can you see it? 100 ASA. ASA and ISO is the same, so we know that the sensitivity of our piece of negative is 100. So I press 100, and then I would point with my inbuilt camera to the object that we are taking with this camera. So if we, if we took Johanna, for example, I point on her, and it would be 14 minutes. But we're going outside because outside is the real light. Outside is where it's happening and there it's lighter. So it's not going to be 15 minutes. I would guess it's going to be like maybe um, maybe a minute or something. But so we need to stand still. We need to stand still. That's another very interesting okay, thing. And also um, an artistic, an art <laughs> an artistic um, de device um, that... I mean, you were, you were maybe wondering why old-fashioned photographs of like 150 years ago, some people are very blurred, uh, very blurred in the picture because they had a long, long exposure time then. The pe people had to keep still because the exposure time was like five minutes or a half an hour or something. That's because they didn't have so high-speed films. They didn't have 100 ASA. They had just maybe one or two or three ASA and not much more. And you... If you remember two ASA or three ASA, this is really very, very low and very no, low sensitivity of a piece of film means a very long exposure time. So now enough talking. Let's go outside. Gustav, computer manager, we go outside. Computer manager. Yes, computer manager. Wow, this is really hard stuff. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Okay, we need to find, we need to put on our shoes, we need to find a place where we all sit. I would say sit on the ground. Yes. I will put the camera. Oh, I will put the camera. I need a, I need a, I need a, yeah, you know what, I can put it on a, on a chair or on this um, fence. Oh we're moving out. So follow me in the beautiful garden. Let's find a place in the sun. <laughs> sun is well, I, th I think I need to stick to the internet a little oh, bit. You don't have a, a battery. But yeah, that's cool. We go really far away down there. The I see something. But you need to speak really loud. Remember the app?
when I come towards them because I want to be on the picture as well, I come laying down and then you we give me the screen. We just need everybody you know what we do? Everybody counts inside until sixty, sixty seconds, and then I jump up and close the door. We, we try to <laughs> you feel like you okay. Yeah. Oh, it works. Oh, we see. Let's yeah, I think so. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, cool. So exposure time, if you didn't get it, the exposure time is about a minute. So I'm I'm here. I'm here at the at the camp. And as soon as I come rushing towards the group and sit down with them and um count inside until uh, to sixty. And then the um, the exposure time is over, and the photo is probably probably ready, and it just has to be developed. So now, are you ready? And then the hole is open, and now we count until sixty, and you don't really move. I'm, I'm here. Okay, can anyone know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is anybody counting on this? Okay, I think it's 60 now, so I'm going there. And I cover it again. Covered. So the exposure time for this piece of film was more or less exactly 60 seconds. Ooh. So what is on the negative now is called the das latente Bild, the latent image which just has to be developed. Hopefully, we calculated everything right. Hopefully, the can is light tight. Hopefully, the light didn't bounce inside because we, ah, because we uh, didn't color it black. Hopefully, the calculator, the app was right. Hopefully, all the gods and goddesses are on our side. And if not, I say, well, I will, I will we'll see. We just, let's develop the piece of film. Oh, yeah, that's it. You can put it right down the meters. The can with your it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I mean, the, the meters between the can and you. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You will okay. f far further away than you think because it's, a, oh, it's something geometrical because it is a concave. And convex. Image and it's like con convex, mm -hmm. concave. Either con either side you watch it. Yeah, right? yeah. It's like a very wide angled thing. Oh, we're still we we on again. Yeah. Okay. I think on. So the latent image, latent image is now on the negative, and uh, we will have to develop it. Any questions so far? I mean. No, we just, let's just do it. Let's just develop the piece of film. And now you make develop it in coffee. Yes, yes. Mm. We can do this coffee noodle thing. <laughs> Oops. You make images from coffee. I make images from coffee. I'm the expert. That's like those scientists. The that scientists. Made advanced. Made. Like That's asphalt 200 problem. years ago, they did it with asphalt. Some people do it with toxic stuff, and I'm doing it with coffee, vitamin C, and washing soda, which is called Capinou. It was not me who invented it, it was me who found it on the internet. There was a class in Rochester, whatever, who um, researched a lot about possibilities to um, to develop photos and films in, in, ecolo in an ecological way. And this is this is one one part of my of my art, I would say, which makes totally sense because the world is so polluted. So we wouldn't like to add more toxical shit on it, and it works quite well. Because uh, I mean, this would be another this would be another uh, another workshop. It's too complicated to, but in very simple words, it is coffee. Where am I? Ah, coffee, vitamin C, and washing soda make a good black and white developer because. It is an acid and an alkaline. It's the, the caffeic acid together with the washing soda soapy 
thing and the vitamin C, which is also a developer, they make a very, very good developer. And you can flush the soup after use in the toilet and nobody, nobody gets harmed. Fixing is another thing. Fixing, I use regular fixer. You have to get rid of it, um, giving it away to a recycle company or whatever, but that's not the subject of our thing. So let's do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what we need now is, since we don't have an art room, we're going to put a piece of film, which is which is uh, hopefully hopefully has a latent image of the group outside. Put it in a case that we can develop it. And for that reason, I can show you my sweet Jobo tank. So I have to use the bag again. It is it is Nescafe you're using. It's Nescafe. Uh, I think it's a no-name coffee. Uh, wait, it's it's instant, 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 instant coffee. Yes, it's instant coffee. Yes, instant coffee makes the whole stuff easier because it's international. You can buy any instant coffee anywhere in the world, no matter what brand. Take the cheapest because the cheapest is the worst for your stomach and the best for your film. And you find some more information about all this ecological developing on www.caffeinol.org or on my website, dagibrunner.de. I can send you something later. So, this is the Jobo tank. This is where I will put the piece of negative inside and close it. And then, the cool thing about it, if the film is inside, you can open this thing. Light doesn't come through, but you can pour the coffee developer inside. So we can do a live developing. Auch noch, auch das noch, auch noch eine live Entwicklung. Also, ach du meine Güte. Doch nicht, doch nicht. Ach je, ach je. Are you ready? Okay, you are. So I'm going to use this thing again. Zug und Zug. Zug und Zug wieder. Um, no, 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 it's, it's going to be very simple. That's the cool thing about the cafe noir. We need a temperature, a water temperature around 20 degrees, which is always room temperature. So I'm going to... You're, you're a little bit out of frame. Yeah, I'm out of frame, but I like to sit on the sofa here. Here I am again. Hello, here I sit on my sofa. I have the changing bag on my lap. And this time... This time, oh, here's the tape, which we don't need anymore. This, by the way, is a little Let me get rid of this. This was the negative case. So this time we need the developer tank. The job, it's called Jobo tank. Inside it, is our magic can with a piece of still well covered. You have to be careful because sometimes if the tape is too old, it gets uh -uh, it's loose and the photo is ruined. So put it inside. Two, close the zipper. Zip the zipper. Zipper number one, closed. I need it. The zipper needs a zipper. Close the second zipper. Oh, maybe you can see it now, now better. Don't just fit around. No, I push my arms in the sleeves and yeah, I open our pinhole camera. I feel, yeah, the film is still inside, stuck to the opposite wall of the hole. So this is so expensive. So many things can go wrong. But so many right. things can go right. This is exactly the right words. Yes, so many things can go right. Even if some things go wrong and your photo is like half blurred because one of the group members jumped around or maybe if you have, we had a, we just had a, Exposure time of 
one minute. And imagine if I uh, I am part of the group for only half of it, for about 30 seconds, I will be half transparent, which will look just ghostly. Fantastic. There are so many things that you can um, can play with. Uh, this is part of the fun. It's a moving it's a, image. It's a moving image in a way. I mean, you capture time. You capture, since you're... you're um, the exposure time might be very long. One minute is already very long. There are, if you, the, the, the whole would be tinier if you, if you transformed your, your room, your room, your garage or whatever into a pinhole, you would have maybe an exposure time of one day or even longer. If you have bad weather and not so sunshine like we have today. I mean, there are mi million components that come together. The, the speed of the film, the, the weather outside, the, the size of the hole and everything, and just play around to have a total time between the second and, and, and several days. So I'm. Goes inside the developer tank, which has also a light tight lid, and placing it on top, and I'm <coughs> closing it. Checking it if it's really closed. If it, it is so, our little piece of negative is now secure in the develop tank, which can be filled up with developer half a liter. So, we're going to set, we're going to make half a liter of developer. I also do it right here in front of the computer, so it's inside here. Do you hear it? You hear the image. <laughs> you hear the image. Okay. Oh my god. I have you have several images in that object. You I can, but I don't do that because sometimes they stick together. Right. And you're not sure if, if the developer comes to all mm -hmm. the I had that several times, so um, you know, I avoid it. So it's it's really hard work just for one picture, one process of developing. It really takes some it's very it's very time consuming. But I mean, why not entschleunigen? Ne? Also, ein bisschen Entschleunigung tut uns allen gut. It is like the Schleunigung, whatever it's called. I don't know. It's part of the fun, actually. It's part of the fun that you you will you will need some. The whole procedure needs needs some time. But but anyway, you can have it the same day that you. I mean, we we did like one hour ago. We tinkered the can and then we went outside of the photo and then we're developing it and in the end you have the negative ready, hopefully, in just two hours. It's cool. Two hours. <laughs> Maybe I have no no time feeling. So now you know what I stay here. I stay sitting sit, sit here and I'm going to prepare the magic soup here and you help me? Yes. Yes. I waited for this answer. So I need someone to uh, wait, we don't know where it is, but the first thing I'm starting with is running over here to my measuring device. which is cool. Hello, ich bin hier jetzt in der um, it needs to be developed about 20, 25 degrees. 500 milliliter water. Maybe I should move the camera closer to you. Um, computer. Well, just walk along a little. So I have to, or maybe I'll uh, find the right temperature. Not coming. Okay, so maybe maybe we do it here. Yeah. Well, that was cool with the glasses. Can you do it again? <laughs> okay, now here I'm. I want to do that again. <laughs> so fun. It came so okay. close. Okay, the recipe for the developer for the Capinol developer is 500 milliliter. Uh, medium warm water around 20 to 25 degrees, um, 27 gram of washing soda, 8 gram vitamin C, and 20 gram instant coffee mixed together to a soup. And this is the perfect developer where we're going to develop our little negative. So I'm doing it here. The cool thing about it, you can use your household devices like pots, etc., because it's not toxic at all. And so I'm doing it in this measure measuring thing. And uh, we just need scales, 
It just need precise scales like this. It's like a cooking program. It's like a cooking program, yeah. It's actually a cooking program. <laughs> you go where? I go there. You go there. Okay, here I have the scales and I'm measuring. Now, put it on zero, clear thing, zero. I need 27 grams of washing soda. I brought this from Germany because I was not sure if they had it here in Sweden. But I think you have it here, right? People washing soda. Washing soda. It has to be 100% uh, washing soda. It is sodium carbonate. Don't mix it up with sodium it bicarbonate. It is natürlich und hygienisch. Es ist natürlich und hygienisch. Das ist genau das, was wir brauchen. Sehr gutes, natürliches, hygienisches. Wir brauchen das, what did I say? 27. 27 gram measuring now. Close up on that, you see exactly how much it is. Ah. I mean, it has to be 27, can also be. Now we now have 26.1, it is totally okay because we don't have to be totally precise. It's all about and now. Whirl it in, it dissolves quite easily if you whirl it round. Zack, zack, zack. Now we have soda water. Next ingredient is vitamin C. You can buy it at uh, in Germany at Rossmann, here in Sweden at Helsa. Remember the name from this 100%. Helsa Cost. Helsa Cost. It's Ascorbin. Yeah, natürlich und hygienisch. Natürlich hygienisch Ascorbin. Ascorbin Sille is also natürlich. What did I say? 8 gram. And hygienisch. 8 gram. The now seven point something. It is now eight point one. Cool. Eight goes inside. Now we have soda and vitamin C. Now comes the main ingredient: instant coffee. You need twenty. And, um, this brand was I don't know Snap Coffee. Um, 20 is more than you would expect. It likes strong coffee. It likes strong coffee. Let's put all this. Oh, the soup becomes really brownish. And it smells. If you knew how it smells here, we would be so happy because it smells like in a brewery. It smells very malty. And the cool thing about this instant coffee is that it dissolves quite easily at temperature of 20 degrees, which is like normal inside temperature, house temperature. And you see it dissolves almost quite easily. So it was also quickly uh, 527 and 8 and 20. So now the developer suit for the negative is ready. And what we're going now is we're pouring, or we first have to measure the temperature, because the basic recipe of this cup and oil thing is 20 degrees, 15 minutes. And the warmer it gets, I would say this is now about 25, the shorter you have to develop it. So let me get the thermometer. It is here, I'm well prepared. Almost Dissolved. Barometer. Mm -hmm. It's rising up. Not easy to see. It's now 20, 28. It's quite warm, but it's, it's possible because I. You want it cooler? I, no, I don't want it cooler. We don't have time. We're just doing it. Oh, it's 29. You know what? If we had an ice cube, do we have ice cubes in the fridge? We Not have here. In the fridge? Yeah. Yeah. If you have, do we have? Oh no, no. <laughs> well, yes, I do have. I just put one ice cube because it's really, really 30 degrees. It's so hot. How mm. can I open it? No, you just drop it in. Just drop it in. Just like the that. Shit. I can do it. 
but yes, no, it's not too open. No, oh, oh, it's, uh, you know what? Well, well, it's okay. Let's just do it. And <laughs> I think if we put it, maybe. okay. No, I, I stay here yes. for, for for a little time, Same and uh, it goes probably quite okay. okay. This is really experimental here. Yeah. I'm unlucky. I can't see the temperature. Okay, it's going. It's still on thirty. I Nothing happens. Stirring. I keep on stirring. I'm 29. I'm down to 30 to 29. If it's if it's going down to 28, I know I did it before at that high temperature. So let me think aloud. 24 would be 10 minutes, and if we have, I would say okay, it's 28. Let's give it seven minutes. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Seven minutes. Yay. Let's seven, do it here. Minutes. seven minutes. So where is the? Can you hand me please the jogging pants? The red, yeah. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. You set your clock. Your analog clock. For the coffee developer inside. It's on a bow. It's six or seven. Six oh. and a half. Uh -huh. It's exactly for 500 milliliter. Cover it and do a little shaking. Shake, 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 shake like uh, one, two, three times shake, in shake. a minute. I have a zero. Okay. Mm, and now we pause. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Yeah. So it's only. <laughs> But you know we, we can sit because this is totally um it's yeah, totally tight. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you you control the time. Let's sit down on the sofa. We keep on shaping. And then keep it is shape. actually reusable. You can um, develop I would say well, there are some some people that say cup and all only a one time developer. But since it's only one tiny piece of film, you can use it for I use it for five, six, so I'm keeping it. And then we just have to fix it, and then we can open the thing and finally see if it works or not. If you are not that visible, you can try to make the difference and say, you know, sometimes two, because um, sometimes I'm not so satisfied. But yeah, I want to do it, because I really oh, want to have it. Yes, you see, oh, it's yeah, time, I see that. Yeah. Yeah. I think when you're not here. I don't not all my life. life. No, no, no. 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 Here, I have the time. Yeah. That's the cool thing about an artist who makes it because you really have time to, and you are in a yeah. in a new yeah. area. Yeah. Yeah. Just we are in a bubble. <laughs> yeah. Double bubble. Double bubble. Yeah. 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 I mean, this is like an exile here. It's like a quarantine in a way. Very, very uh, countryside. So it's like really the north of Sweden starts at the extreme point, the forest starts. After the forest is the north of Sweden. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we are lucky in the south of Sweden. Yeah, south of Sweden <laughs> it's only about how many 30 kilometers. Yeah. It's only yeah. our part here. Yeah. yeah. And, the wind, yeah. and the wind is not so Arctic. Yeah. Not today. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> not today. <laughs> oh god, yeah. It was still snowing. So there was an editor in Nazism circle. No, in Nazism they found the whole month. Yeah. So yeah. The band is when it starts to get to the end. But it is not the same time. Yeah. It was down to uh, the north of Germany. Once. But, yeah. But not today. And the not uh, the inland is uh, over yeah. 10,000 years. Yeah. And some people went after the ice as it 
Yeah, that is the uh, good thing about all this eco thing that if you're close to making dinner or shaping the drink, playing with um, the food, or you shouldn't drink it because it's soda. Because it's warmer. Okay. And if it's warmer, it has more energy, so you don't need that much time. No, but that was when we did the It was 30 degrees, yes. Yes. But that's the thing that's um it's another recipe. Because when you do something else than coffee, coffee is really cold oh, at 20 minutes. degrees. Okay. But it's uh, but I have two more. But all the other things you can use like plant tea or whatever, it has to be at a high temperature. Mm -hmm. yeah. What we did, we did uh, together some rucola and then I didn't mean to be basic. Basis. So that's what, what you have the soda for the certain pH value that you need to achieve. And and the uh, energy to the acid. Yes, also. And then it's the acid inside the coffee or the tannin inside red wine. Whatever you use, whatever green plants you use, it's uh, it's the acid part of the phenols, the, the phenolic in, in the plant who, who does um, silver of the drink that dissolve, that transform the silver salts into metallic silver. That's what's happening with the negative, black and white negative. You need an acid to to really to eat the silver salts and transform them into metallic silver and then this metallic silver, human eye can see it. One minute to go. One minute to go. It's not one minute. Yeah. During that time. No, one minute. One minute, you know, I mean, I should just <laughs> jump up and, <laughs> and now then, I mean, we're fixing it then in four minutes. It's a rapid fixer, it's a regular toxic fixer. You can as well use ecological fixer, which would be a highly saturated salt water. You can dissolve like 300 grams of regular kitchen salt in one liter of water, and you would have a fixer. A fixer is a salt, a very strong salt. But you would have to fix about two days using regular salt, and we don't have the time. So I have some yes. toxic fixer here, which means only four minutes. Ah! Alarm! Alarm! Five, four, three. Yeah, right. I put it here. The coffee noodle. I can reuse it. So I will keep it here and hopefully not spoil the sink. Just water it a little bit for one minute so that the developer comes really out. See the water is still brownish. Rinse, rinse, rinse. It smells like developer. It smells good. It smells like, like uh, for me it smells malt, like malt. Ein malziger Geruch umschwirrt uns. So this is just for getting rid of the remaining developer, not to ruin your fix. That should be enough. Then just fix it for four minutes. The fix is behind you, don't move. Fix is also reusable. Oh yeah, four minutes. 
from when I say go. So for the picks inside, it's really pick. Yeah, pick six. <laughs> Start. Yeah. Afterwards, I'm going to really clean the kitchen. Don't worry. <laughs> Close it. Mm. A little bit wrong. So where's my my Dreckmappen? It's this here. This is the Dreckmappen. Is this is the big lappen. And then we can open it and see what we have done. Four minutes. Four minutes, yeah. That is when you have to. Oh, you know what I love about this is Christine, what I am saying. Yeah. Now, it's now, it's <laughs> now it's a commercial. Now it's a commercial. Now it comes. Svenska, Svenska System. Yo, Elska, Svenska System. This is so cool. They have like three liter. Yo, taller into Svenska. Uh, but just a little bit, I'm just learning. They have the three liter super compact package of red wine. It might seem a little cheap, but it's actually, it's not, not cheap, but it's, it's really, really ecological super cover. they red wine and I, I drink it every day. It's just fun. It's a big cheap. Commercial but, over. Uh, commercial uh, over. Uh, commercial over. Commercial over. Time one. But right. this would be the What is for <laughs> Why? Cut, cut. Why? Well, they opened up to get now. They are adapting to do the. Ah, that's not why we did For German visitors. This is really so. System, I love it. Yeah, it's really good. So, sticks can be reused also. Maybe system will can buy this tin now. Yes, that is my yeah, secret yeah. hope. <laughs> but because, dear System Bolaya, did you know that you can develop your piece of film in red wine? Wow, and beer? Is it possible? Is it? Yeah, possible. Really, yeah, I did it yeah. several times. You can, you can, by the way, you can see all my recipes on www.yumyumsoup.wordpress.com, I think. But it's one of the links that I'm going to. Reveal. You found it on your website, I think. This is also. Then you have links on your website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you find my main website, you can find the other ones too. I'm going to you stay here and don't move because I need this tray. Okay, where are we? Oh, it's a big surprise. It's only a minute. That's nothing. I give you a minute and then. And we're inside. Mm -hmm. No, we no, no. One minute to go. Mm -hmm. Dearest beloved. I don't talk about the energy. Oh, please. Dear goddess of photography, give us a, we will manage. Give us a beautiful picture. Okay, Darlie, but uh, it says inside. It says inside, but you can't. Oh, yeah, you can see it. It says inside because it's like the letters I cut them out because there was one day with very bad weather and I didn't want to go outside. So I thought. No, it's 10 I, seconds. Okay. Oh, you can't no, overfix. It doesn't matter. Okay. So I just uh, cut out these letters and I put them on different things here inside and made an animation film. You can see that later no, on www. Okay, fix those in the tray. I really have my system here to not spell, spill and spoil and pour it back into the um, bottle. And this is only for adults. Yeah, it's only for adults. Don't, don't, don't ever use bottles like these because your children could think, oh, as it they is, go more on juice. Oh, more on juice, oh, so yummy. Thank you for that. Now, give it a little bit of water and then we open this. 
just to get rid of the remaining pixel. And then we have to... Mm -hmm. Okay, I open it now. The magic of truth, uh, the, the moment of truth. I open it. It's still inside. And it's very, very dark. Okay, it's very, very, very dark. Oh, wow. It's too dark. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. So, well, I can see. No, that's not even a. Uh, is there a shadow? I can't really see it. Where we, no, where we not really. It's not really exposed. Ah, uh, it's not, not right exposed. Yeah. Yeah, that can happen. That's but there it's overexposed. Be, it's overexposed. So there can, can be different reasons why. Yeah. So yeah. then you start all over. Yeah, but not today. So let's see what could, could have happened. There's one one way. The mistake. Okay, it's really it's really dark, which means it's really it overexposed. Be the exposure. Since the recipe is, is, is quite okay yeah. with the cup, it yeah. can't be the developer. So it must have been the exposure. Dark means too long exposed, too much light. So either. The can is not light type. It can be that the, the dish doesn't really close properly. It can mean that you had an error in exposing that it should have been a shorter time. Yeah. But it could have looked uh, like this. Yeah, it could have looked like this. It could have looked like this. I, I, I think, or well, maybe that we didn't paint it black from the inside. Or yeah, I was jumping here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. yeah, but this one proves the that, concept. Uh, Maybe it was a really light uh, light light layer. Yeah. 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 Maybe we should have painted black inside. We could have painted black inside. We would do this anyway, but we have been so sorry we just didn't have the time. And uh, anyway, shit happens, but anyway, something goes on because it is black. So it got light. It got light in the can, but maybe too much light. And it's a venture. We have it we have yeah. to figure it out what it's what a venture. It's a venture. It's an adventure. It's a venture. So I would, would like to say Thank you for everybody participating. And of course, this wonderful sweat, the sweat, sweating, making, sweatshop. making any sweatshop. <laughs> thank you, everybody. And thank you, dear audience, for your patience and for your interest. And I really hope that Facebook is recording since Facebook is recording anything. It's never they record everything. Oh, they recorded everything. And um, I have a friend who records it as well. So. Now I'm open to, to, to no, I'm not. I don't know, I'm not shut up, I'm not saying or whatever. No, it's okay. Um, I really hope to, to have inspired you with this. And if there are some, some questions open that remain, whatever, I'm, I'm there. I'm there to answer you. And I would really like to have given you inspiration to tinker your own inner canvas. And you see, it might seem now very, very, very complicated and very complex and very prone to go wrong or whatever, but um, check it out. Take your time, meditate on light and energy, have fun and love each other and take good care. Bye. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh, shit, what a shame, but, uh, but okay, you couldn't have been